Hey, welcome back, friends, to Scrapping It Up. I'm Vanessa Peter, and this is part two of the Joyous Christmas Folio Album Tutorial, okay? Um, in the last video, we constructed um, the cover and got our waterfall and pockets on. So in this video, we're going to finish it up. Um, I will put the link down below if you haven't seen my show and tell of this album. Um, also, um, I'll put the cutting measurements down below, but if you would prefer to get a PDF file of this um, little cutie that has a cutting guide and written instructions, um, go to scrappingitup.com and in my blog post, I've done a blog post about it, I do give you um, a download to where you can have the cutting guide and written instructions of this for you to keep forever and make okay the only thing i ask is you don't download that and then use use it and say that it was your own work okay we got to play nicely in the crafting world okay so give credit where credit is due okay okay enough about that so we got our waterfall put on Mm -hmm. Love it, ladies. Piece F. Okay, piece F is our band that's going to hold our waterfall. I folded towards the bumpy side, ladies. We are going to attach this. I'm going to center this from top to bottom. I'm going to put it right along my pocket. Okay. Stick her down. And I think I want to round my corners too. Okay. Now, we need to attach our magnet. If you're going to use a magnet. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind. That you're going to be adding paper to this. You are going to be adding photos to this. So you don't want to hold this down and hold this down and stick your magnet. You want to allow for a little bit of room. Because you're adding paper and photos. Okay. So you don't want that all to be smashed down and put your magnet. So you need to allow for a little bit of room. Because your folio is going to grow. Okay, because otherwise when it grows and you go to shut it with your magnets, your magnets are not going to meet. Okay, I need an X, I need a positive and a negative here. And these are just basic gray magnets. Uh, if I can get them out. Get out of there. And I just stuck the other one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, stay. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's try and get this one out. Aha. Alrighty. Put those away so we don't s stick them down to anything else. Okay. Now, I like for my magnets, I don't like them to be close to the edge. I like for enough paper to cover them up. So, I think I'm going to put it about right there. I think that would be probably about good. Whoa! Okay. So I'm going to tape him down where I want him to be. I'm just going to use my score pile tape, ladies. Okay. Now, I want this to be just a... Oh, we, 
I don't want it to be completely shut when I put this magnet. I want it to be just a little bit over because you're going to be adding paper and photos to this, okay? And this is just how I do it. I know there's probably easier ways to do this. <laughs> it's just how I do it, ladies. Okay. There's where it's straight, so I'm just going to pull it back just a hair. Stick her down. Okay. Now I'm going to apply my score pile tape. That's how I do it. And I know there's probably better ways out there to do it. As long as you allow for a little bit of room. Okay. That's important. That's the important thing. Okay. Now. Piece H. We're going to fold towards the bumpy side on the first half inch. And we're going to fold towards the bumpy side. Uh, just a second. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. And burnish. Okay. Piece H goes on the left hand side. Okay. So I'm going to open it up. And you're centering it from top to bottom. Okay. So just, and don't go over this edge over here, ladies. Just go up to it. When you got it, take your tape off. All right. And there. So then we have that. Okay, give her a little bit of a burnish here. Okay, now piece I fold towards the bumpy side, ladies. Again, you're folding towards the bumpy side. Okay, now you're going to attach... Oops. I just told you wrong. H was supposed to be over on this side. Whoops! Uh, hopefully I can get this off. I burnished it really well. Mm. We'll see what we get. I may have to cut a new piece. Ah, dang it. Blam it. Don't do what I just done. <laughs> this is supposed to be closed. And then you attach it to this side. So, I'm going to... This piece is still good. I just have to put some new tape on it. Don't try this at home, ladies. Oh, my. Like I said, there's never a mistake. We can always fix our mistakes. All right. Starting over. Okay. Piece D needs to be shut. Then attach this. Okay, ladies, and I'm going to open it up. Center it from top to bottom. Okay. And then take your tape off. Sorry about that, ladies. Darn it. So now that closes like that. Now, piece I is going to go right on top of your pocket. Okay. And I'm going to line this piece up. Top to bottom on piece H that we just put down. Piece I, I'm centering it on piece H. And this is going down right on top of my pocket, piece G. Okay, when you got it, don't go over on this side, ladies, because you'll get into your, 
the folding of your spine. Okay, so this should open up, and I think I rounded my corners. Yep, I did. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that to this one too. So I'm gonna round my corners. I think rounded corners a lot of times will take the the bumping and the wear and tear of an album better than a straight corner. So there you have it. Okay, so that opens up. You have a flap. You open this up. You have a flap. Open that up. And you have a pocket. Um, I made a couple of photo mats to fit inside here. And then we have our waterfall over here held by a magnet. Okay. And a pocket. And you may want to give these a good burnish okay and then the ribbon what you're going to do with the ribbon I do mine before I decorate it okay um, let's see on this one here yeah I just put it on the back you can run your ribbon underneath and then that way it ties on the side but I chose mine to tie in the front of my album okay always put your ribbon on before you put your paper on okay oops I didn't get it done right but anyway so if you want it like mine I put my ribbon on the back okay and then I attach my paper now if you want the ribbon on the side you're going to attach your ribbon on front and then on, or on the back, I'm sorry, on the back. And then you're going to attach it on the front too and then put your paper down, okay? So that's, that's how you would do, do that. Um, that's all on this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys will make this. Um, it's a quick, easy, fun album to make. As you can see, it didn't take very long to construct it, and it don't take long to decorate it. So have fun with this, ladies. Um, leave me comments um, in the section comment section below uh, what you think about it. If you made one, let me know how you liked it. and uh, Or if you add you, your own spatial magic to it, let me know in the comments. Okay, guys. We will talk later. Keep scrapping. Bye-bye.